hello there we're watching playback you have to i show speed scammer really the mic and i want to see what this is about i really like watching playback hopefully you guys like it. i like hearing their opinions on shit so yeah. and i also add on crypto to it, which was so widely criticized to, to be a scam and he apologized and i confronted the founders behind this crypto coin only now one of the founders has gone full internet tough guy and is making threats towards the people who criticized him. Oh my god. You, you little shit. I'm gonna come see you personally myself. Yeah? For spreading all that fake fing lies on my name. Yeah. Watch when I catch you, I'm gonna smash your teeth in. This double down by itself okay. would seem so insane, smash but it, it actually it. gets worse. So this is a full expose on Amio Talio, the founder, who in my opinion is a danger to himself and others in addition to being a scammer. So we'll- Nah, he's right there. Any nigga that pop out a Lambo like this. <laughs> even danger. That's crazy. Any nigga who sends voice, who sends threats on voice. That's bro, crazy. You voice. just want to get yourself You hard. just want the evidence to be there, bro. Like that yeah, is like gift wrapping evidence. It's like coming to rob somebody with your with your face, no mask on. You just robbing them. Like let let y'all know who robbing you, right? You don't Virginia. think we're a scam. You just you just think that we're not gonna. No, I think you're scam. You must not like the way we dress or the color of our skin. All it is, all it is, is because we're your we're not your average suit and tie kind of guys. Maybe you don't like the color of our skin. Which is a pretty shocking allegation wow. when only an hour earlier wow. I was a man of dignity wow. and a man of the people. You are a man of dignity and a man of the people because you are. Yeah, they just be saying uh. anything to be right, bro. You bring race into it. You bring mom, your mom into the shit. You bring money. Uh. You might bring God into the equation, bro. But you will say anything to be right. I hate yeah. people like that. I hate people I like think that. they try to like right, sugar my man of dignity to man. You must just not they, like. I think the man of dignity was at the start of the stream, right? Or I started an interview, so they were trying to get on his good side. So then he would probably ask less, not as hard questions or some bullshit like that. And then he didn't do that, so their attitude changed. I like the color of my skin and the fact that I'm not a suit and tie type of nigga. I'm a paradox crypto wearing teacher type of nigga. That's man. all it had to that's be, the type man. Of guy I am, man. That's, that's what it had to be, man. Yeah, me and it's my, my brother. It's my skin tone, man. Mm -hmm. Forget the fact that I'm trying to scam a bunch of people out of money and I'm using a minor to do so in the process. Mm -hmm. Forget that part. Mm -mm. That part, it's really my skin tone, man. I know you keep telling me that I'm scamming people, and I know you keep telling me that I'm using a but minor. But you don't mean that, doing, though. But I know you don't mean it. Also, I found out that his manager. Speed's manager gave it the okay, I guess. And I'm like, bro, you guys, because I was, when I heard about it, I was like, bro, you're supposed to have like a manager or some shit. So then when shit like this pops up, it doesn't even reach you. But I guess he did have a manager. If he did, that manager needs to be fired, because, bro, that's bad. It's my scam. You, you know it's a scam, bro. I'm, I'm happy that he stood up, though. And didn't just be like, ah, like he just said, like, no, I think you're a scam. <laughs> but honestly, I thought the story was going to end here for me. Because even though they've made a response video about this a couple days ago, where Ami Otalio, the founder, tried to talk a lot more carefully and considerately about his crypto coin, I watched it and realized it wasn't worth my time to cover. Because A, Moist Critical already covered this, and really? I felt like he had done a great job already. But also, B, it was basically all the same counter arguments that I had already debunked on a two hour live stream. But yesterday, something changed. Ami Otalio decided to double down by going from a crypto scammer into an unprofessional goon who threatens people who criticize him. What's worse is that he didn't just threaten people with big platforms like me or Moist Critical. No, 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 no. He was nice to us. He told me after I toasted him and his brother for two hours on a live stream, good luck on your future ventures. No. Instead of going after us, Ami Otalio decided to target a small TikTok creator that dared to criticize him the exact same way I did. Really? But instead of saying, good luck on your future ventures, he said this. Which when I catch you, I'm going to smash your teeth in. Every I'm smash single your teeth in. time, you look at your face in the mirror, you're going to see your broke up nose bust up in 20 different places. That's what I'm going to do, that big nose of yours. Right? You thought it was funny, innit? You thought it's funny. You just troll man's on the internet. Can I like, sue internet before guy. Bro even does anything? So then I can get some money after, bro? Is that his name right there? <laughs> Nigga, you are an internet guy. You have a crypto oh, coin. You man, couldn't be more his of a. His name is right there. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, this is love. I'm about to tell you something. Yo. <laughs> 
<laughs> no way this nigga just giving all the evidence like this is that's crazy bro to anyone that tells me this guy's address i'll give him 10 bags and then i'm gonna see what you're gonna say when i come there because i think you think i'm just some internet <laughs> problem not an internet <laughs> yeah so i'll see you very soon you little now this is so annoying to me it's the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> internet tough guy act you choose the smallest voice <laughs> criticizing That's you. Crazy. Yo, wait, hold on, we can't just skate past that. <laughs> Yo, he's crazy. No, nah, yeah, you're crazy, dog. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. And I know for a fact the criticism you received from Moist Critical, us, and CoffeeZilla was much harsher than whatever that, that smaller influencer did, bro. You're fucking weird. You're weird, nigga. You're That's weird. You're scared. Wow, you're supposed to you're weird. They That's just why. pick on the person they think they can get away with it. Yeah, that's really yeah. that's really what it is. Yeah. That he's just picking on somebody that he knows for a strong fact. Strong against the, the weak, weak against the strong. aren't weak. going to be as dire if he does something like that to CoffeeZilla. That's that's literally what he's doing. Because he can't keep going back and forth with CoffeeZilla, moist critical, people who've dissected every single last word he said. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go on Snapchat. And then just dog you and then tell people I'm gonna give them 10 bands for your address. Yeah, Bring nigga, let me net. find out, but you dropped fucking 10 bands on an Addy. But he just saying it just so you know, just so you know, I got the funds to do what I really need to do. Do you hear me? Yeah. I'm gonna broke your nose so bad every single time you look at <laughs> Like, come on, dog. What are you talking about? We know you do, bro, because you. <laughs> I know how you get your bread, so I know you got the bread. Okay, I'm gonna bash your teeth in if you don't shut up. Like, why not say that on a live stream to me? And it's, it's also the dumbest thing, too, because you're literally threatening somebody online recorded. You're saying <laughs> you're putting a bounty on them. Like, you might get arrested doing that. And honestly, this thing was so unhinged that even after seeing a screenshot from Ami Otalio's Snapchat... I grabbed this guy and bring him to me. I want to see this show in real life. He's from Blank and sent his mom to Yo, so can I arrest them or the cops arrest them and then I can sue them for uh, what is it? Something the distress thing, distress, fam, feelings in distress or something, pressure and distress, some shit like that. His I dog's believe, like, me. This was real. I thought it might have been a deep fake or something. He says 5K to the person who grabs this guy who criticized him and brings him to me. I want to see this troll's face in real life. And then he asks for his mom's address. I honestly thought I was Come trapped on, in some kind of paradox metaverse <laughs> nightmare Come that I have to like Come pay Paracord Come to get out of. There just is no Come way on. in my mind someone could be that stupid to voice physical threats over a recordable voice memo and then have screenshots of them putting a bounty on somebody. And it wasn't until I reached out to the person who was actually threatening all of this, Naeem, that I actually believed any of this was real for sure. So the CEO, basically yesterday, the CEO of Paradox uh, messaged me. He straight away went with threats. He was like, said, I'm gonna put a 10K bounty on you. Like, I'm gonna make people come after you, look for you. Took a screenshot off my Snapchat profile and put it on his story, telling people to come look for me. Wow. Now, obviously, these are pretty shocking allegations. So I wanted to not add an allegation. I guess they technically are, but. Is this proof? Hold on. <laughs> Sounds just like him, bro. <laughs> That's his voice, man. There was no doubt given how serious it is. So I reached out to Paradox Metaverse to try to hear their side of the story. They decided not to respond, but they did respond on Discord about it, confirming Ooh. some of this. We have the brother of Ami Otalio responding under the handle Professor. You can see on Discord, he's labeled the co-founder and someone gives Naeem's TikTok account. And he says, hey, Ami is making it worse. His brother says, just a futter getting told off. Nothing to worry about. Quote, each of them, I guess the critics, have contacted us to pay them to remove the posts. Isn't that called blackmailing? Now, here he no. seems to confirm no. the threat, saying... They nigga, were what? No. No. Why you put 10 bands on his head, nigga? That's not... That's called safety. What no. The fuck? It's, not it's not blackmail to remove blackmail. It. They don't want their Is info out there. You're dumb. Oh, my God. And again, bro, y'all are... Yo, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Y'all are the worst criminals of the year. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear to God. Y'all are the worst criminals of the year, bro. Y'all are giving out information about illegal things that y'all are doing and then admitting it on Discord. 
more like, I oh, don't worry, guys. Just some more back and forth, some fudder, man. Trolls would be trolls. You had to put them in their place. <laughs> and actually, when you think about it, like, nigga, shut up, bro. You put out thousands of dollars to get the information or even bring up their mom's information, bro. Y'all are grown ass men. Y'all are grown fucking men. Y'all are weird. Just imagine what they've done so far. They hired a fake Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. which yeah. in and of itself is just wild. <laughs> <laughs> next to it, like, let's, let's think about that. Who wore a crypto shirt? And threw him in one of those and it, corny ass t shirts. Threw him in a t shirt to promote a scam coin, allegedly. Then also gave tens of thousand dollars, more than likely, maybe hundreds, to a miner to promote it. Potentially got duped by the miner because he didn't actually um, promote the shit properly. Yeah. Didn't promote it properly and didn't mute his mic just so y'all can get exposed. And then after that, you got completely dog walked by Coffee Media and the rest of the internet because y'all are dumb. On um, Co CoffeeZilla. And now <laughs> you're committing crime Yo, they're just looking bad in right such now. a way where it's so easily drawn back to you. Oh, yes, y'all are dumb, bro. What a week, <laughs> dog. What a week. It may not surprise you to learn that this whole story didn't stop there because I started to do a deep dive on this stop. guy. And it turns out he actually has a history of this, even though he had a low profile online. He's apparently lived a lot of his life being a tough guy and threatening people for seemingly no reason. Like, for example, he got in a fight with this guy at the gym uh, who didn't enjoy being filmed. What the fuck? What are you f swearing? What? What are you f swearing? I'm taking a picture of me. I'm f taking a selfie of f me. Don't f swear at me. You f swear at me. You're nobody. What are you and it's not just that either. He got in a fight with his luxury car dealer who goes by the name Cash as well. He makes some pretty disgusting statements about the guy's family, which I will be bleeping out, but I think you can uh, read between the lines here. F the mom, f your hanky panky dad, your fucking stupid kids, yeah, your fucking brother that needs to come out of the fucking closet. I told you. He will film himself trying to commit crimes and then post it on YouTube. For example, he literally did this with a attempted theft. Open the boot. Don't record me, help me. Don't record help me. me, help Huh? We're just making sure that no one can steal this. So we're just making sure. Is that a skit or the know, worst robbery know. of all time? Don't help me. It was so weird don't to me that me. Some the, the quote unquote high value men, the, uh, the big alphas that put on this persona for y'all to just buy and eat up are some of the most, most mentally emotional. weak, most emotional niggas on the internet. I, pr I promise you. Every time, every time we've, we've reacted to this, every time I've seen them, those those are the ones who are the most emotionally unstable individuals by far. I could keep showing examples, but I think this is the last one I'm going to show. This one, though, shows especially what kind of a delusional narcissist this guy is. The biggest motherfucker going. The biggest motherfucker going. If I let some motherfucker like you, some motherfucker like you, Try and play this kunda shit with me, your mother what? is gonna be the biggest down, your biggest down for what happens to you and what you think I'm going to come down. I'm a big man, bro. Make one phone call, bro. Yeah, what you think I'm gonna come down to you. But you don't worry, you'll see what time it is, isn't it? Don't worry. Don't worry. You carry on. You just carry on. Yeah? Okay. F your kids, f everyone. Don't need to swear on no one's kids, bro. You watch. This guy is so unbelievably full say? of himself. He said, I don't need to spare no one's kids. That's what he just said. I don't know. No. This is actually, wow, well, you're insane, bro. You're like a serial voice note threatener. <laughs> so you get a kick out of sending voice notes like that. Fuck your kids. Fuck your mom. Fuck your wife. I'm a big guy, guy, bro. I'm a big guy. You, 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 like you, you think it's going to be me? Huh? Imagine him pacing around his fucking living room, sending messages like that, bro. Come on, bro. I, I, I'm so serious when I say, bro, this is the reason why all those gurus that they be on on um online and or those people who scamming people for money, talking about how much money they got, they got the Lambo, all that, bro, that shit. Bro, them people deep down inside are some of the most mentally weak individuals yeah. on the platform, bro. Everything they do is for validation from everybody else. They don't, they actually have no souls, bro. Look at this man, bro. You know how weird you have to be to just sit there and care that much to where you're like, oh, he, he gonna get a piece of my mind. To so send voice messages? I also feel like when money is your North Star, then that's how you're gonna operate. Like, you, like nothing else is gonna matter to you as much as making money. Just being a good person is not gonna matter to you as much as making money. And those are the types 
regards to people that unfortunately yeah. usually make the most amount of money because they're willing to cross lines that other people aren't because they actually have a moral compass. This guy is a token that for all intents and purposes has a function. It's just a quite useless function and a series of quite useless functions, but he's trying to get people to stake their money and commit long term to this token that doesn't actually have much value. Yeah. And so when people call it for what it is, instead of just really looking inside, again, because his North Star is money, he'll send out these threats to the people he thinks he can get away with bullying. At the end of the day, bro, it's all weird activity. Like, all Mass of it. Massively weird. From hiring a fake Cristiano Ronaldo you can get sued for, to getting a minor involved, which I bet also has implications. You're not doing a good job of running your business, even That's if true. money was your North Star. Even if you might have a fucking Lambo and some bread, you don't seem like the type of guy who actually knows how to run a business. You seem like the type of guy who can get over on some fucks in the Web3, which is not that hard nowadays. It's not that fucking hard to make millions of dollars in crypto if you're a fucking goon. Look, man, it, when money is your North Star, you'd be willing to do just about anything for money, and that's exactly what's happening here. You can't be surprised, bro. This nigga doesn't look like he has much purpose in his life. His At purpose all. is to make bread, and if it comes at the expense of you committing to this token, then fuck it. And if you get in the way of his bread because you criticized him, and you're on TikTok, and he could get away with bullying you, He's gonna do it. Yo, but let's know your thoughts in the comment section below, man. Don't don't be this guy, man. man. Don't man. be this. Oh, never be this. That shit is so sad, bro. It's sad as hell. Your bro. life will look this sad. Y'all look lame as hell. You'll be threatening all, 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 <laughs> every bro. every man, top notch guru, big alpha man. I make a bunch of money and they brag about it. He just <laughs> money just sitting in front of him. I don't care about the haters. I don't care. But yo, let us know your comments in the comment section below. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell. We'll see you all next time, man. Peace. Oh, see, never have I. Heard a threat, so so, bro, bro, bro. I could say it in my head, but as soon as you try to say, it, I get I'm close. So I'm gonna skip it. Credit guy is doing a speed run to future jail, throwing stones from a glass house. Is it just me or are threats with London at accent? It's hilarious. I'm a big man, bro. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> she not intimidating me at all. <laughs> Does have to be intimidating? I was still getting fucked up. What about the wrong? Look, it's not a London accent. It's an immigration London accent. Someone who was born in London in an immigrant community and isn't very well educated. Really, road talk. I'm. Um, I don't know. So yeah, scrub me, scrub playback. Let me know how you guys. What you guys think about this? This shit is just weird, bro. Bro is dumb. Bro is like caught in 4K, but there's no camera. And there's all the video and evidence says from him. So yeah, all right.